Hello, this is Chris, and I am back with a brand new reaction video. Just when DC and Warner Brothers bring out a new trailer for their film with Justice League, it seems like we always have to follow that up with a Marvel movie, and that's exactly what we've got today. This is going to be a reaction to the Spider-Man Homecoming official trailer 2. This trailer literally went up probably within the hour, and I knew I had to jump on a reaction immediately to this thing. And uh, first off, I'm actually surprised we haven't had quite a few more trailers for this. I mean, Spider-Man, at least he used to be, used to be the poster child child for Marvel like he was huge and this is only the second trailer we've got and I know it's still early days and we'll probably get a lot more of these things but I'm just thinking back to the times of like Amazing Spider-Man 2 and if you guys can remember that there was about like five or six trailers that came out for that thing to the point where eventually when I went to see the film I must have already seen about 15 to 20 minutes of footage just from trailers alone. Um, I'm glad they haven't taken that approach with this one but as I said they might crank out more trailers for this thing. I think Marvel are at the stage now where they really don't need to pump out that many trailers because you know people are still going to go and see them superhero movies are still huge at the moment and uh, I don't think this is going to be any exception with this one so I guess I can talk about Spider-Man a little bit before but I do really want to get to this reaction very quickly so my Spider-Man is always going to be Tobey Maguire I love the Sam Raimi trilogy yes Spider-Man 3 is definitely the weakest one of that trilogy but there are still moments of that film I find incredibly entertaining uh, some moments I think are truly great and I love the soundtrack to that one as well. I think it was by Christopher Young, I think that's his name, uh, took over from Danny Elfman and it's one of my favourite superhero scores of all time. Then we get to Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 and I love the casting of Andrew Garfield and I thought that Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy, they had a great chemistry. I think around that time they were going out with each other in real life. Um, so I couldn't fault the casting, I thought Sally Field was a great Aunt May as well. But the rest of that movie was just an unfocused mess. The way they wanted to build this entire cinematic universe on the back of one movie. They had the three villain problem again, which is always the fault of most superhero films, especially Spider-Man 3 as well. And then, you know, that's all fizzled out now and then Marvel have took over. It's still under control by Sony, but um, Marvel are giving them that helping hand. And I'm going to get to the reaction now, but I do want to talk about the news that has come out as well about an R-rated Venom movie and they want to do a Black Cat movie and Silver Sable. Um, I'll get onto that afterwards, but I do want to get to this trailer now. Uh, you can find my reaction to the first trailer that came out for this thing in the description below. Um, I thought it was an okay trailer. Um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing Michael Keaton as Vulture. Michael Keaton one of my favourite actors of all time um, and I'm sure we're going to see more of him in this trailer as well. So I'm going to click play now. <laughs> He's got some kind of inflatable suit now. Okay, that's new. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? I hope with this film as well, it does stay focused as a Spider-Man film. The ground. You're the Spider-Man from YouTube. You know, I know they've got to have Iron Man in there, but I don't want him to detract too much. Can you summon an army of spiders? Oh, Ned, no. Do you know him? He's not Ant-Man. Can I try the suit on? Badass. The rich and the powerful, like Stark, they don't care about us. The world's changing, boys. Time we change. Oh, Michael Keaton. That's so cool. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, forget the flying monster guy. There are people who hate <laughs> Yeah, just forget him. You know, he's just going to tear up New York. That's fine. You missed it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, so this is the shot where he brings it together with a web. Reminds me of the subway, uh, the subway train from Spider-Man 2. What if somebody had died? I was just trying to be like you. I wanted you to be better. I'm going to need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. I screwed up. You need to stop carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I'll do anything to protect my family. And actually, the vulture. I know you know what I'm talking the about. The look of him does remind me of Green Goblin, um, of Norman Osborn from the first movie. So don't mess with me. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. Keaton's going to be the best thing in this movie, hands down. Oh, that's new. The little spider comes off. That's nice. The guy is still out there. I've just got to do this on my own. 
Or maybe it's in the comics, I don't know. This trailer is showing a lot. <laughs> Just don't do anything stupid. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that I'd like this trailer a lot more than the first one. That's not to say I didn't like the first trailer at all. I think this one was more focused on Spider-Man's character and Peter Parker and the dilemma he's going to face during this movie. Um, I did think that this trailer may have shown too much, and I might be wrong when I eventually see this movie, but it did seem like it was showing you all of, you know, the story beat for beat all the way through to the end, and I hope that's not the case and they have got a lot more surprises up their sleeve. Um, I'm going to talk about Michael Keaton first. I think we see more of him in the last trailer. In fact, didn't they bring out two trailers? I think one had more of the Vulture in it. Um, he's going to be great, but I do find it really strange how... You know, when Sony, um, when Sam Raimi was talking about doing a Spider-Man 4, which I really wish we'd have got, um, I would have loved to have seen a Spider-Man 4. I still would love to see a Spider-Man 4. Um, I think the villains he wanted to do were the Vulture and Mysterio. I might be wrong about that, but I think they released concept art for it. And, you know, John Malkovich was in talks to play the Vulture. And I think that Bruce Campbell was in talks to play Mysterio, which I'm, I'm trying to imagine that now. And that would have just been so surreal. But, um, you know, they had concept art, everything worked out, and Sony were like, yeah, no, we don't want that. We're going to go in the direction of a reboot. And I think that Lizard was also in talks to be the villain, because, you know, they'd set up Kurt Connors in all three of the Spider-Man films, and you know they were building to introducing him, and then eventually get into a Sinister Six movie to finish it all off with. Uh, they wouldn't let him do it, and then Amazing Spider-Man rolls round, and they start with the Lizard which is a weird decision because they wouldn't let Sam Raimi do it. And then, you know, we get this next reboot and the Vulture's the bad guy again. So it, it's very strange why they wouldn't let him do that then, but now they do. Um, I think it looks fun. Uh, we've seen Spider-Man before in Civil War. We got a little teaser of him and um, I loved the character in that. Just seeing him next to these characters of the Avengers was so surreal to me and so amazing. The entire airport fight is one of the greatest superhero scenes I've ever seen in the film. Um, how every character got a chance to shine. And, you know, Spider-Man didn't need to be in that movie. And I agree that the film does kind of stop dead just to introduce him. But it's so nice having a Spider-Man back that I like. You know, like, I used to love Spider-Man. Spider-Man used to be my favourite superhero. There was Batman for DC and Spider-Man was always at the top for Marvel for me. And then, you know, the years have gone on and the films have got worse. And then I've started to break away from Spider-Man. I still stand by the fact that Spider-Man has the strongest rogue gallery in the Marvel Universe. And, uh, you know, they're kicking off with a great one with Vulture, with Michael Keaton too. So, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. We saw him in Civil War. He's fantastic. He nails the personality of Peter Parker. And Spider-Man, he's got the quips in there. But it doesn't seem as mean-spirited or as annoying as Andrew Garfield when he did it. And, you know, Tobey Maguire tried, but he wasn't that great at the humour with Spider-Man. Uh, this looks like it's the complete package. I still have a soft spot in my heart for Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. But nevertheless, Tom Holland fantastic. I think they've improved the CGI on the suit because one of my problems from Civil War, and I don't know whether it was a time thing uh, when they eventually did get the rights to put Spider-Man in Civil War, but the CGI on the suit didn't look all that great. I didn't like how in close-up shots he was mostly in CGI as well. I do want that blend between, you know, Tom Holland in costume as well as CGI likeness, and if you can blend that right, you can make Spider-Man just a seamless character, and it looks like they've done that with this movie. There's some new stuff as well. I haven't seen that inflatable Spider-Man suit before so that's new and also the little spider emblem on his suit first off I love how that's small just like the original comics uh, but that looks like that can come off and it's his own little device and whether it's like a spy device or whatever it is um, I haven't seen that before that's probably in the comics if someone has read the Spider-Man comics uh, please do let me know in the comments about that um, and I like the dynamic between Tony Stark and Peter Parker in this one. That was a great dynamic in Civil War, and it was just natural that they were going to build on that with this one. But as I said during my reaction, I hope that Tony Stark doesn't derail this movie or take the focus away from Spider-Man. This definitely needs to be a Spider-Man film through and through. But, you know, if Tony Stark's just there to help get him on the right path and then it becomes a Spider-Man movie, I'm fine with that. You know we're going to get more flirtation with Tony Stark and Aunt May, which was hilarious in Civil War. And again, just to see Spider-Man up against Captain America and Tony Stark and, you know, subtle reference to Ant-Man. 
It, it's awesome, but Sony may ruin this perfect thing they've got going with Marvel now because news has come out recently within the last week or so, within the last couple of days, that they're working on an R-rated Venom movie, which apparently isn't going to be tied into this Spider-Man or the MCU. In general, it's going to be its own thing. They want to do a Black Cat solo movie as well. And you know, these films were in talks of when they were doing Amazing Spider-Man 2. They wanted to launch all these different titles. They wanted to do a Venom movie. They wanted to do a villain spin-off movie to set up for Sinister Six. They wanted to do Black Cat back then as well. All plans of those fell through when they chose not to continue the Amazing Spider-Man franchise and wanted to do this joint project with Marvel. But that's going to be weird to me because, you know, Spider-Man is so closely tied in to all of those characters, to Black Cat, to Venom, to all of his rogues gallery. And if you're not going to bring Spider-Man into those, especially if you're not going to bring the Tom Holland Spider-Man into those, then it's just going to leave it in this weird state. You know how like it is at Fox at the moment with Deadpool and Logan and the rest of the X-Men movies. And you know they're meant to all cross over and tie in with each other, but they really kind of don't. And it's this weird state of limbo they're all in. I think that's going to be the problem with this. And also you can have the problem with if all the Spider-Man films overseen by Kevin Feige and Marvel in general are great like this one. Um, if Sony have free reign of a Venom movie and it turns out to be terrible... Where does that leave Spider-Man in the MCU? It's a very weird state. I think at this stage they should just cross everything over. If Sony have had this deal to share the Spider-Man character with the MCU, I think they should stick to that. I think they should bring all the villains over and just do it all under Marvel's leadership. They can still retain the rights to it. Obviously, they're not going away anywhere. But uh, just have Marvel control everything and I think you're going to have a stronger product. But um, no, it's going to be interesting to see how this all blows over with the Venom movie and all the other spin-offs they want to do as well. Um, I think I've pretty much said everything I can on this trailer. I'm not completely blown away by it at all, but I'm interested by it. It looks like they've got the fun back and it would just be nice to see, hopefully, another good Spider-Man movie. And hopefully this one can take off and uh, right the wrongs that the previous couple of Spider-Man films have done in the past. So that'll do it for my reaction to Spider-Man Homecoming official trailer 2. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? What are some things you're looking forward to with this film? Anything you like, please do drop me a comment. In terms of what's coming up on the channel, we will be going live later tonight for our review on Power Rangers. I saw it a couple of days ago and I cannot wait to talk about that film. Later this week, we'll also have a review for Ghost in the Shell. There'll be more trailer reactions from me as and when trailers come out as well. So please hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to keep updated with all of our content. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.